Hi guys and welcome to another Draft of Glory over the weekend, I think I'm uploading over the weekend and that is to even up the numbers so we know where we stand so it's not uneven numbers throughout the week as you guys know it is a midweek series. So today we are going to be going straight in on, you can see we've got 466,000 coins, a lot of the stuff would have sold, probably Vaughn would have sold a little bit more as well um, if I'd listed him up before the weekend, uh, sorry the marquee matchups did come out and uh, you can see a lot of other players as well which potentially could have gone for a little bit more uh, but yeah not really a good... Uh, um, not really a good reward in the last video. So hopefully we can get a little bit better this time around. We've literally got three Casanos. So I'm I'm 100 percent seeing me going to be getting rid of him by via discard, I think, at the end of this video. Um but today's video we're aiming to get something good again. We have obviously five draft finals this week. Only two wins out of the five as well. It's a little bit disappointing. Uh, but fingers crossed we can do alright this time round. So if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes or cheat game codes guys go and check out G2A.com their link is down below. If we can try and hit over 4,000 likes that'd be brilliant and guys subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already so i'm looking at the formations and not impressed by any um so i think the four two three one what no four two three one wide maybe the four one two one two but then we are solely relying on centre midfielders and not really many wingers now the second in form and out obviously that'd be a brilliant pick but we've got the fourth do i want wingers i think i want the four one two one two wide Tempted to tempted between either of them two, really. Um, wouldn't mind two strikers. Let's see. Probably going to look towards BPL, I think, if we get a good choice here. With Griezmann, Bale, Messi. Ugh. Now, we've got no wingers, guys. So, that basically gets rid of all four of them players. And we've got to take Antoine Griezmann as a striker. Uh, Bale would be an alright one. We'll be on low chemistry. Same with uh, with Messi as well. And Di Maria. But I am going to try and stick um, to what we know. And actually, if I do take one of them... It, it just starts again, doesn't it? It just puts it puts them on the, on the bench actually. So I don't know. Do I want, want do I do I want an impact sub? Maybe we can get the inform bail. That's what I'm going to be uh, looking forward to. So we're going to go for inform. Uh, sorry, normal Griezmann. There is no inform of him uh, in the striker position. We can build French. Um, dependent on what we do get here, no one to link up with him. That's crazy. Uh, we got Cavani, not a bad card. Perez, Kane's got an inform. Benteke's got an inform. Stindl, I don't know if he's got an inform or not. Tempted to go with Spanish, um, just because it would be very easy to uh, potentially link him if we do get some. Obviously, he is BPL as well, so let's see if we can do anything here. Juan Mata. Garcia would be a good joining link here. The only one, actually, to, to link them both up. And then we can potentially hybridise it down both sides, which would be alright as well. Uh, so Garcia may be the one to go for. So I'm going to take Garcia. I think I was alright with him last time I used him as well. So we'll go with Garcia in the middle. And then we can potentially go anywhere we want down this side. So let's see if we get first centre midfielder. We do get a French guy. And we do get Hernandez. Hernandez doesn't give us a perp. Um, or Perez. I've not used Perez this year. Still looks a very, very solid card as well. I'm going to take... Damn. Tough. Because Grenier... Would, uh, it, it, it's going to be Perez. I'm going to take Perez because he's a lot, defend, lot more defensive than the other guys as well. Um, then we jump onto the other side. Oh, why, why are the non rares coming out now? We do not want this. And obviously, Liga Santander gives a strong link. Going to go with him. This is frustrating. Like, so many bad picks already. And we've not even got... You know, I've got the informed Toure, but I'm going to have to ditch him, guys. He will be, I really wanted to use that card. It looks sick. But I'm going to go with Casemiro, um, the uh, Real Madrid um, centre defensive midfielder, and see what we can get in left back and right back. Tremolinas, informed Luis. Uh, I will take... Um... Yeah, I'll take in Form Luis. Obviously, a very solid card, 86 rated as well. Go of him. Centre back. Paleta Navas. I don't even know if he's from. He's from the Russian league. And we got actually. Ah, it would have been really good if we'd have took uh, Tremolinas looking at it now. So I'm going to take uh, Kolodziak. Um, I don't know how to say his name correctly. Um, as he's the only really La Liga pull. Next one. Martin, Inago Martinez. Um, Inago Martinez has actually got an inform as well this week, but um, I need to take him now just to confirm the defence. There's no French. So I'll go with Inago Martinez. Right back. Can we get someone uh, all right ish? No, we cannot. No, we cannot. None of these are Liga either. Um, 
I'll take Pereira. For sure he got sent off in the Champions League game the other day. And let's see who we get as a goalkeeper. De Gea will... Oh, my God. The amount of non rares What is EA doing to me? This is garbage. Um... One French link, and he's the only one who can link, guys, which is uh, Boutel. So we'll go with Boutel in there. That is, how many non-rare picks did we get there? One, two, three, basically four, four. And we've still not had the silver. Hopefully, we've still uh, got time to uh, get someone good into the team. Let's see. Goalkeeper, Ruffier, or Black De Gea. But then... Mm, or Black's the best shout in it. I'll take Or Black in net for this one. He jumps on in, guys. Takes us 92 chemistry. Uh, need some, definitely need some good strong links here. Left me, oh, right back. We've got a right back as well. So that's Montoya jumping on into the team. Valencia link as well. Uh, so I can swap them two over. And then that gives us sort of to full chemistry. Just the two strikers are not on full chem. So I need, I definitely need a La Liga striker uh, in the remainder of the pick. So we get the new David Luis. Can't fit him, him, him in anywhere yet. I don't think I'll be able to fit him in in any way. But it's a sick card, isn't it? Might even play him as a CDM. Um, Walker, Vertonghen, Otamendi. I'll go with the Inform Luis. Next four cards. Gorkuv, Karik, Lamar. Renato Sanchez. I'll take him as an impact sub. No one else would fit in. So I'll take him. Come on, throw me some good players here. And non-rare picks again. Fuck me. Uh, take Balassi. I need some centre midfielders. Oh, Luis Suarez. Oh, why is the pick come now? Luis Suarez as a striker. That is a really deadly... Uh, that's a deadly attack, isn't it? That one, guys. With 92 Suarez and Griezmann up front. That is awesome. So that takes everyone to full chemistry uh, as of currently. The only player I really want to take out of the team... Is that left midfielder, the 75 rated guy. So hopefully we can get a centre midfielder to go in there. Which would be nice. And maybe an upgrade. Oh, oh my god, EA. Um, I'll take Danilo. Brazilian. Looks alright. I'm not really interested. Tremolinas. Higuain as an impact striker. I'm happy with the defence. Tremolinas gives a perfect link to probably work somewhere else in. But I think I missed the picks anyway. So I'm going to take Higgs. Uh, as that hopefully game-changing striker, the 89 rate. We've got four picks left to get a centre midfielder. Oh, Kyle Walker, Carlos Vea. We've got enough defenders. I'm going to take Carlos Vea uh, into the team there. Still need that centre midfielder. It's going to be a rough team. Neymar. Oh, Thiago. Could I fit Thiago in anyway? Going to struggle out of Maybe a super... No, I'll, be, I'll bring Renato Sanchez on as, as, a, as a sub straight away. So I'll take Neymar uh, to potentially do some damage uh, later on in the game. Nelito, Insigne, too many wrong choices here. I'll take Bashui. No, I'll take Insigne. He, Insigne has got an inform this week, but um, can't take it. And the final pick, guys, I'm hoping for a striker, Ronaldo. Corman, Nelito. Right, I'll take Corman, as that seems to be the best pick there. So we've got a La Liga team. We've got Neymar in there as well. Renato Sanchez definitely is going to make an appearance, I think, straight away, uh, potentially. Defence is fast in all areas. Just that one centre midfielder isn't doing the uh, isn't the person I really want in there. So I'll take Coleman as well. And I reckon that'll do as uh, superstar changes. So it takes up to a 184. Um, I think it's a 184. It is a 184. Um, just because that's 75 rate card. But we have got... Actually, which... Which what foot is so he's right footed, not bad. Is this guy left footed? He's left footed, pretty good. So, guys, that's the team as it done. Let's go and confirm it, see who we get as the manager. And uh, do we get a La Liga? We do not, but we do get Brazilian and we do get Spanish. And there's quite a few Spanish people in the team whacking it in. There we go, that's it done, guys. Let's go and see what it's uh, finalized it as. Not bad. Hopefully this one does all right as a weekend draft as well, guys. I know you guys are not probably used to seeing the drafts on the weekend, uh, but obviously to catch up and get us to episode number... I've totally forgotten. It's been, really, I think it's episode number 40, this one, guys. Uh, and we've our record's pretty mate as well, um, especially with the prize we've got. So, guys, do like, rate, and subscribe. Not. 
Let's go and get into the four games and hopefully pick up four wins. So, guys, I think this is potentially the first time that I've actually got to use Suarez and Griezmann as a partnership within the, the foot draft. First opponent looks solid as well with uh, Loud Drop, uh, Inform Lewandowski, Inform Lukaku, uh, Inform Manlas. Um, like he didn't, he doesn't. He looks like he didn't really care about chemistry uh, with some of the players he has got in there. Uh, but instantly he got on the score sheet, guys, with Schurler taking a brilliant shot there into the uh, into the into the corner, and uh, the old man's celebration did uh, ensue. Um, frustrating goal to give up. This game, in fact, was a frustrating game. The amount of chances which I was missing uh, from point blank, point blank was ridiculous. Uh, Sanchez inside the... Uh Inside, well, just outside the area, linking up with Neymar, Neymar to Suarez, and a nice uh, finish there to make it 1-1 and seals back into the game. I thought after scoring that goal, I would go on and completely dominate. How incorrect was I? A nice drilled uh, pass back to Lukaku and a nice finesse with his left foot, guys, does make it 2-1 to my opponent in at the 56th minute. Frustrating. But thankfully, in the 72nd, we're able to get another chance. Renato Sanchez coming on as a sub, as you guys did know, and uh, Griezmann linking up with, uh, with Casemiro. You get very lucky, actually for the ball bounce straight back to his feet um, but we do make it 2-2 and then we got a free kick in the 87th minute guys you can see uh, Suarez got good free kick stats anyway with a brilliant uh, shot there into the top corner makes it 3-2 guys and uh, does seal the victory for us and takes us on into the quarter finals of the draft maybe an over celebration by myself uh, but it was a very very stressful game uh, if you guys had been able to witness a whole 90 minutes of it but you can see the amount of chances we had and uh, the amount of chances we never went in passing accuracy very high and obviously we came out on top it could have gone text time but we were able to seal it beforehand. Next opponent guys scare Lukaku, Aguero, um, Mata, Ramsey, Kante, Matic solid, solid midfield. Inform Luis, a new inform as well. Inform Bravo last week's inform. Uh, Bailey, Valencia and uh, Rose to complete his start in 11. Um, in the first couple of minutes so guys, nice uh, passing in and around the area. Uh, making sure I was going to get a shot off but it is actually a terrible, uh, terrible goal and very, very lucky actually for uh, our centre back who looks like a uh, B-Tech uh, Varane does make it one. Nil. Then we let our opponent in Ramsey sliding in and uh, putting it past the keeper to make it 1 1 in the 19th minute. And uh, then we're just pushing on, trying to get rid of Louis. Louis is a pain to defend against. Very rarely see him used in the draft, uh, but with his inform card being here now, you expect to see him a lot of the times. Suarez doing a nice scoop turn past the defenders and makes it 2 1 in the 27th minute. And uh, continuing in this half, guys, we were able to do our corner, uh, pass it around again. Colo linking up with Griezmann. Griezmann through to Perez, and Perez making it 3 1 in the 39th minute. We were going to go all out, though, trying to push a race on our opponent and uh, yet again nice link up Griezmann with a triple tap all the way to the back post Suarez is in there to tap it in and uh, we did actually uh, make our opponent rage quit and seals on into the semi-final of the foot draft so even though the team didn't look the best in midfield um, it was still a doable team but when when I saw this, Kante, Matic, Gundogan, just them three, strength. When I saw Shakiri, strength. When I saw Williams and Shaw, it's a very, very strong team. And my opponent did know how to use that left trigger wisely as well. And uh, just trying to break through his midfield was impossible. My defence was uh, being torn to bits. We conceded the first goal in the 37th minute. And not saying we get got completely smashed. We did have our chances, but they just weren't going in. Um, you can see into the second half now, guys, we had opened up a little bit more to push on the press. Solskjaer makes it 2-0 in the 59th minute. His game face is absolutely atrocious as well. I don't know what you're thinking with that, but that is an absolutely atrocious game face. Um, I've seen... It's like the Renato Sanchez one, you know? Um, he's able to make it 3-0 uh, as well, guys, with defensive errors by me. And it is a draft uh, semi-final defeat. So let's go and hope that we do get something in our packs so we can make this episode look good. So, guys, I was well and truly smashed. The difference between... Um, obviously strength and someone who knows to knows how to use the uh, left trigger and stuff like that a very frustrating game but um a game which uh, Kaz did deserve to uh, to win no complaints about that guys as well and truly turned over um and the dominance in his midfield was ridiculous but that's what happens bpl teams are very very good in midfield and, and defense as well williams uh, did get a lot of insane blocks off but um basically i don't know what we're hoping for we've won two games i'm hoping for a little bit of luck Jumbo Premium Gold Pack and a, pre um, a Premium Gold Pack as well. So I'm hoping for something good. We could get very lucky as we do in our packs usually. We have got a rare. Not that type of rare though. That's uh, someone I didn't really want to get. Bloody hell, that is a horrendous pack for, for, for players. Um, 
None of these sell. I'll list them up anyway. They may go. Uh, obviously, this is the last draft. And I'm doing this on the Thursday night as well, guys, if you didn't know. Um, was hoping for... Oh, I should listen for 350. Um... Was hoping for some of the new marquee matchup players, but it hasn't come round. There is a plus six attribute card there. At least that one for for two fifty. It may sell. Player fitness as well. That one may sell for two hundred. If not, I'll relist it over the weekend. Foot healing apparently sells, but I can't see. Can't see any thousand eight fifty seven fifty bid. Yeah, so there's seven fifty coins there. Um, we got the attributes card which. Don't know if they sell a lot now, 750. They do sell, so I'm gonna get rid of it now actually. And uh, Gladiator as well. So Gladiator goes for 200 coins. I never get lucky with the uh, with the chem styles. Maybe once or twice. Still hoping for the uh, for the hunter. But let's see, Jumbo Premium. Oh, two rares are the expensive rares. Stoke City. It is 78 rated juve. We've uh, I've let myself down. I've let you guys down. I know with the draft. There is a Grenier player in there, though. Oh, Grenier player? Leon player. Which will sell for the discard uh, because of the Liga Un. And Juf. Juf, I don't really see pop up anywhere. And look, guys, sells for, doesn't even sell for 650. I'll try and offload him 700 coins. Uh, we have another player, Polish, doesn't sell. Hoping that consumables. We get a player contract. I'll try and sell that for 250. Um, try and sell this one for 250 as well. Two squad fitnesses. I don't think we've made our 15k back, but we sort of close. Was hoping for a good chem style, not happened. How much does the uh, upper body one sell for? Like 200, is it? Any own open bid? Come on, please. 400, right. So we've got this one up there for 400. So hopefully we can get rid of that one. Centre forward to striker. Not sure on this price. Nothing, is it? 150, no bids. Uh, we'll try and get rid of the centre forward striker. And Gladiator was the one we just got as well. Shooting and defending just isn't a good mix. I don't know why that's even a chem style, really. Um, two player fitness. Try and offload that. And then we are definitely done, guys. I'll do the non rares away from, uh, away from the video. So if you've enjoyed the video, guys, anyway, leave a like rating on it, guys. Subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. And hopefully your packs have been a lot better than mine uh, because these have been absolutely atrocious. See you all later. Bye-bye. Thank you.